Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In our last class, we clearly discussed about uh, what happens inside each round in DES. So, in that in the in that last class, we discussed that uh, inside each round, we are going to have a fistal function. So, what happens inside that fistal function that we are going to understand in this class. So please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, when we discussed in our last class, the fistal function is going to take uh, the right hand side 32 bits as input to that function. So function, fistal function f of r i minus 1, i minus 1 means from the previous round, the right hand side bits, 32 bits are considered as input to the fistal function and the k value, k means key, key is 48 bit key is taken as input. These two are taken as input to the fistal function and you are going to get 32 bit output. So what happens inside this function? This is what totally happens. But in this class, we are going to understand only the expansion P box and XR operation. In our next class, we are going to understand what happens here in the S boxes and stride P box. So now coming to it, the input is 32 bit. 32 bit means right hand side 32 bits from our previous class. It is taken as input. But these 32 bits are converted to 48 bits. Means we need to expand the number of bits. In order to expand that, you know, previous classes, we clearly discussed we can use expansion P box. Similarly, we are going to use expansion P box here. 32 bits are converted to 48 bits. Why we need to convert 32 bits to 48 bits? Because the key is of length 48 bits. In order to do exclusive R operation, we need to convert this 32 bits to 48 bits. So now, how we are going to convert this 32 bits to 48 bits? That we are going to understand here. So once this 48 bits, 32 bits are converted to 48 bits, it is going to XOR with a key, KI. And you are going to get an output of 48 bit. That 48 bit are sent as input to the next step. In the next step, you are having 8 S boxes. 8, 6, 48. So 48 bits are taken as input. Each S box is going to take 6 bits as input and it is going to give 4 bits as output because it is it has to reduce here we are using compression s boxes these basics we discussed previously what is compression s box so these s boxes are going to take 6, six bits as input 86 each one is taken as 6 bits 86 48 bits and it is going to reduce to reduce 6 bits to 4 bits means 8 fours, 32 bits you are going to get as output and these 32 bits are sent as a input to the stride p box means 32 is taken as input and 32 is taken as output it is going to shuffle the bits you are going to get the output of 32 bits so how inside what happens inside these s boxes will be discussed in our next class now try to understand what we are going to do in a expansion p box see we are having 32 bits. These 32 bits are divided into 8 parts. 8 fourths 32 bit. First bit, second bit, third bit, fourth bit. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like that, we have divided our 32 bits as 8 divisions. Each division is going to have 4. In order to expand these 4 bits to 6 bits, first 4 bits are expanded to 6 bits. Next 4 are expanded to 6 bits. 8, 6, 48. So, 32 bits are converted to 48 bits. How we are going to expand? First bit, second bit, third bit, fourth bit. Next set, you consider it as each 4 bits as a set. Next set, first bit is taken here. 5, 6, 7, 8. Next set, first bit, 9 is considered as here. 9, 10, 11, 12. Next set, 13 is considered here. Similarly, last 29, 30, 31, 32. Next set means first set. You consider these sets as a circle. First set, 
first bit is 1 so that's why so we added one bit for each set similarly on the left hand side we are going to add see 5 6 7 8 previous set last bit is considered here 9 10 11 12 previous set last bit is 8 is considered here so each 4 bit set is expanded to 6 bit set Similarly, last, see the first one, 1, 2, 3, 4, previous set means the last one because you consider it as a cycle. Last bit is 32. So, that's why we consider 32 here. So, we have considered 8, 4, 32 bits and we expanded the to 8, 6, 48 bits. So, the point you need to understand, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, in the middle, whatever we have in the middle, this is the original data. These are all duplicates, we added extra bits. So, if you want to compress, is it, is it good to compress these bits? No, you can compress these extra bits because we added that. You are not supposed to compress the bits that build, that in the middle. So that's why during the compression, where compression happens, during the S boxes, we are having compression. 48 bits are compressed to 32 bits again. There you, you are going to eliminate this extra 2 bits in the each set. It's not a problem because we are not, this is the actual data, right? If you understand this point, next class is very, very easy to understand. Hope you understand how this expansion P box is done and after this expansion P box you are going to get 48 bits. These 48 bits are exclusive or with a key. Key is 48 bits and you are going to get an output of 48 bit. This 48 bit is sent as input to this S boxes and stride P box. How these S boxes will be and how this stride P box will be discussed in our next class. Hope you understand this class. If you have any questions regarding the concept. Please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.